subscribe to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kayla and I am the Mile High Mama and I am actually here because it has been way too long since I have done a video. Um, I have to say the last video I posted was three weeks ago. I have a toddler. If you did not know. So yeah, he's just going to be toddling around throughout this video. Mom life. Moms know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah. But this video is going to be a life update video. I'm going to give you guys a few updates about what's been going on. Um, some stuff that's been happening over the last month. Because, oh my gosh, this month has been so busy. I haven't been able to pick up the camera. I am also going to loop this in or group this in with my 15-week pregnancy update. Oh my goodness, we are already 15 weeks. I am so excited and I am stoked to tell you guys all about um, my process of finding my midwife. So um, I want to go ahead and start off by saying I have had almost zero to no motivation and energy for just about anything that does not, con does not require living. So that means cleaning, cooking, working, all of that stuff has just kind of been um, not my priority, which is totally not me. If you know me, that is not me. But um, I am trying to get back on track here now. I finally have all of my energy back. Well, not all of it, but a lot of energy back. And that first trimester, I don't remember it being too bad actually with Oliver, but this one has been bad. <laughs> this one <laughs> is definitely different my new niece was born my brother's daughter and she is absolutely beautiful her name is poppy eleanor and we absolutely all adore her and um i wish i could hold her right now she's so cute she's a little muffin girl the baby was born um we had my father-in-law's birthday we went on our camping trip um then what else my parent, my step mom and my dad came out to visit us, which was so much fun. I love them so much. And um, we went to the aquarium. Um, and then they went home and it was really sad. It's always so sad when they go. So um, I hope we get to see them again soon. I know they'll probably be coming out for the birth of the new baby at some point to come see the new one when it gets here. So yeah, right on into the 15 week pregnancy update. So first things first, I wanna start from week one to week 15. Obviously week one, I didn't even know I was pregnant, of course, because that's how things work. Um, actually, we'll start from when I found out I was pregnant. So I did a video, you guys all know, when I first found out that I was pregnant, um, symptoms had not quite been there yet i will admit but um it didn't happen too long after that i was starting to get super nauseous completely low energy barely could do anything i just wanted to lay down and sleep which if you know and you have a toddler that is not an option you can't just lay down and sleep i called my midwife and i asked her you know and told her the situation i'm having such a hard time with the nausea i really need something it is driving me crazy and she um, told me to go get some doxylamine, which is a sleep aid that is safe for pregnancy, and vitamin B6. So I take one doxylamine and one vitamin B6 every night because if I don't, I beat myself up the next day because I'm so incredibly nauseous. Even at 15 weeks, I decided almost not to do it last night and then decided to wake up and it was like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. And I decided that I would go ahead and take it because I had forgotten and um, I kind of debated in my mind as I was falling asleep whether or not I should take it and just try. But when I woke up at 3 a.m., I was so nauseous. So as soon as I took it, I felt so much better. So I don't know how long I'm going to have to take this. Um, I hope that it's not going to be for a super long time because... I don't want to have to take any kind of medications during pregnancy, but we will have to see. I'm not, I also don't want to be extremely nauseous. With Oliver's pregnancy, it was not that bad. I would have a little bit of nausea and then I'd throw up and that ended about 16 weeks. Hopefully it'll end at 16 weeks, um, but I don't know. This is only my second pregnancy, so every pregnancy is different. But um, along with the nausea, I have was low energy and low motivation. So I just was not motivated to do anything. My energy was so low. My life was just the bare minimum for a good four weeks. 
or even five weeks, honestly. Um, so here I am and I am feeling much better. My energy is much better and I am getting right back into this YouTube thing, trying to get things done because I want to document this journey and I can't believe I'm 15 weeks and haven't documented anything. Um, in addition to all of that, I have a 20 week scan coming up to go check the baby, make sure everything is growing really well. Um, I, we do not know, want to know the gender. So during the scan, we will not find out the gender of the baby. We... I want to wait till the very end. I just want, I want that surprise. When we went to the midwife uh, for our first appointment, she took my blood. Um, there was no issues with my blood test. Everything came back normal. We listened to the baby's heart. She could hear it. We all heard it. It was at 154 beats per minute. So I don't know what that means, but I'm stoked because it is a healthy heartbeat and that's all I'm asking for. She um, also checked my fundal height. That's something she'll do at every appointment just to make sure that my uterus is growing the way it needs to be. My first appointment was at 13 weeks. My next one will be at 17 weeks. So at 13 weeks, the fundal height was at a perfect point, she said. So everything looked and sounded great. Everything came back normal. So at this point, we are going steady and we have a healthy pregnancy. But I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys a bump shot. Just a little bump. Hey, let's go. Just a little All right, guys. Well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more Colorado sunshine this way. Like this video and leave some comments down below because I love reading your guys' comments. Tell me what you were feeling at your 15 weeks, um, what you were experiencing expecting to feel like at 15 weeks and how you guys are feeling now if you guys are further along in your pregnancies or if you're not pregnant you know just drop a comment because I just loved to hear from you guys all right so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye bye